Hope will once again find herself discussing Thomas Forrester's marriage proposal, leading her to finally disclose the true reasons behind her rejection. Liam, aware of Hope's recent divorce and her hesitance to remarry, prompts her to delve deeper into her decision. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on CBS The Bold and the Beautiful. As she confides in Liam, Hope admits that her reservations extend beyond her readiness for marriage. She confesses her fear of following in her mother's footsteps, a concern she recently shared with John, Finn, Finnegan. Hope reveals her reluctance to emulate Brooke Logan's high count of marriages. Finn's counsel also prompts Hope to confront the lingering trust issues stemming from Thomas's past deception regarding Beth Spencer. Despite forgiving him, Hope struggles to fully shake off the weight of the past. Acknowledging Steffi Forrester's interference, Hope reluctantly admits that the breakup may have been necessary given the circumstances. Meanwhile, on the same B&B &B episode, RJ Forrester's frustration with Luna Nazawa boils over, leading him to storm out and confront Zende Forrester Dominguez at Forrester Creations. Zende braces himself for RJ's anger, prioritizing Luna's well-being over his own. During their confrontation, RJ directs his anger towards Zende, resulting in a physical altercation. As Luna anxiously waits for updates, fearing she may lose RJ over a seemingly trivial incident involving special mints, Poppy Nazawa steps in to offer comfort and reassurance. As Luna wrestles with uncertainty about her relationship with RJ, Poppy offers words of solace, predicting that RJ will come to understand once he has had time to cool off. B&B spoilers divulge that Steffi found herself in a harrowing situation when she was forced to defend herself against Sheila during a break-in. She recounted the terrifying ordeal to both the authorities and Finn, the power outage, Sheila's intrusion, and her own act of self-defense, resulting in Sheila's fatal injury. Following the investigation, Deputy Chief Bradley Baker informed Steffi that she wouldn't face criminal charges as her actions were deemed self-defense. However, during the transfer of Sheila's body from the memorial service to the crematory, Deacon accompanied her and was startled to notice an unexpected discrepancy in the number of toes. Deacon has been grappling with the aftermath, seeking understanding. In a preview clip, he delves into text messages exchanged between Sugar and Sheila. Additionally, Lauren Fenmore Baldwin will discuss Sheila's past with Deacon in the upcoming week. While Steffi, Finn, Hope Logan, and Liam Spencer express concern for Deacon's well-being, he doggedly pursues a lead. It's revealed that Sheila had a past association with Sugar, a former prison warden. There's speculation that their relationship turned sour, possibly leading Sugar to assume Sheila's identity. This theory suggests that Sugar might have been responsible for crimes attributed to Sheila, including the shootings of Finn and Steffi. The revelation of ten toes in the crematory indicates that it might have been Sugar's body, not Sheila's. Perhaps Sugar had leverage over Sheila, coercing her into criminal activities, while Sheila herself sought redemption. Stay tuned! Like and share our video to get the latest updates and spoilers on soap opera.